Your character's a bit of a psycho in this movie. <laughs> a bit. Uh, <laughs> what sort of research did you have to do to get... Um, you know, I was really lucky. A lot of it was already on the page. Um, and then I read, I listened to music, um, watched movies. I've known some crazy people, which is helpful. Little tidbits of them. Um, and then I spoke to a couple psychiatrists who gave me a lot of insight into this disorder. And um, they've, you know, seen it all. They, they described to me in detail different cases that they worked on and, um, you know, really described to me what causes someone like this to be this way. When you spoke to these professionals, what was the sort of most eye-opening moment for you? Or uh, most intriguing? A, a couple of things. Um, well, first of all, they, I, they gave me, like, specific details from cases they worked on where they, you know, went to court to say this person is psycho. <laughs> they, they're not, you know, guilty of their crime for this reason. They belong in a hospital. Um, but, uh, you know, that people really believe what they do. I mean, sort of giving me the path to rationalize and understand why Rebecca does what she does. She loves Minka's character. She wants that friendship, and that friendship to her means life. So anybody who gets in the way is, she believes, threatening her life. Um, also, what's interesting is that she's not really, like, she does a few sort of, like, sexual things, but she's not finding pleasure in it. She's not uh, an intimate person. She's very much everything is, is on the surface in that sense. It's always to gain control over other people and um, the situation. Mm -hmm. it, she has a bit of an unhealthy obsession. Did you have any weird, funny obsessions when you were growing up? Any posters on your wall or...? I mean, not really. I, I didn't... I don't know. I mean, I liked certain people, I guess. I don't think I was obsessed. I was reading a journal. This is really weird, but I was reading a journal. I was probably like 10 or 11. Um, and I'd written in it, I love Billy Corgan and I always will. That's a little weird, right? <laughs> Do you still love him? Not like that. <laughs> Not that undying love that I thought I had. Uh, we can't talk to you without talking Gossip Girl as well. What's, uh, what's coming up and would there ever be a Gossip Girl movie? Um, I don't know. I don't know about that. I, I mean, that could work, but I really don't know. Um, I think, uh, you know, stuff that's happening right now is we're, we're uh, dealing with the friendship relationship of Dan and Blair and seeing where that goes. Um, seeing what happens with Chuck and Blair. Yeah. What would be the ultimate storyline for you? Uh, probably that she ends up with Chuck and that she discovers he's a prince. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs>